How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. Thank so you. So good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Who are you excited to see at the festival? Um, uh, well, I we've we've been playing some sh some festivals with uh, Florence the Machine, but I've oh. never got to catch her set yet. It's yeah. always like right as she goes on, I have to leave for something. So yeah. I think tonight's the night. Oh, it's so good. It's the night. She's amazing live. Yeah, I know. I know. It's She's like in, it's an incredible show. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm I'm ex I'm looking forward to seeing it. What is your fondest childhood musical memory? Um, Donkey Kong Country for Super Nintendo. The soundtrack. The soundtrack. Unbelievably it's, it's, it, it, good. It changes. It cha You don't even know it how many unreal. musicians today are actually influenced by old video game music. I mean, especially like, that one. Yeah, and it's just. It, I actually pulled it up on on uh, the internet the other day and just listened to it for like an hour. I had it on my iPod for like four years. <laughs> Seriously, I know that's super really? lame. I know it is, but I'm not even saying that. But I seriously actually had it on my iPod. That makes me like you so much. Me and more my friend now. Joe used to play the game in my basement. We'd yeah. hang out and we'd both sing the different parts. Yeah. He'd sing a bass line, I'd sing a lead part. Absolutely. The, the bass lines are oh, unbelievable. They're absolutely incredible. So it's hard to start a band, get to the point where you can make it. How did you get past that point of kind of feeling like, fuck it, I'm going to give up and like lay bricks or something? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that I was just, I, I wouldn't want to do it again. Uh, yeah, okay. Josh and I, the other guy in my band who's not here right now, because he's a loser. Such a loser. Such a loser. Uh, no, Josh and I, we, we look back on, you know, like, man, how did we do it? Like, how did it, how did we get out of, like, kind of like that layer of so many bands trying to quit their day jobs to actually do this for a living? And, um, you know, we, it's, I guess it's a combination of, like, timing and, the ignorance to think that we could do it. Yeah. You kind of <laughs> we need just kind of that put ignorance, our, though. We kind of put our head down and just kind of worked, 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 and uh, then popped our head up and realized, like, whoa, we, we, can, uh, we can do this now. And so, um, man, there's so many, so many stories that go along with that um, to explain it, but uh, I guess it's just we're incredibly honored to be able to do this for a living. Gosh. And how come just the two of you? Because everyone... Cause, because there's so many issues with more. The more people you have involved in yeah, your the thing, more the bullshit more, you have to go. You know through. what I mean? Like, like I'm not gonna hate on other bands, but you know, can you imagine I like will. four other chairs right next to me? We just had an interview on a bed in our RV. Yeah. With and it was five of us on the bed. Yeah. I mean, like we part cuddled, of that's, part of that's special. The other part's just like, you know, crowded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's too many people. Yeah. yeah it's it was really hot. Sticky. The AC wasn't working. It was really hot. <laughs> yeah. So, here's a question for you. Yeah. What? 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 Yeah. What am I looking at here? That is. This is. This is. This is our band logo. Um, what I. What I like about this logo is that it doesn't really like a, a lot of bands. Logos kind of are a um, interpretation of of the maybe the first letters of of their names kind of like meshed together or whatever. This has literally nothing to do with our band name. <laughs> what it was is my roommate and I, who uh, his name is Mark. He does all of our music videos too, yeah. so like we've kept that all in house this whole this whole time so far. He he just had uh, Photoshop or no not Photoshop another program One pulled those, up on, yeah. his, on his on his laptop, and I was like, dude, I need something. I need something that just like you know screams like what we're trying to do. Like just hit me with it. And he just he kind of just drew these these rectangles Ooh. and threw them up there, and I was like, in that's, a circle. That's it. That's and it. Honestly, we are it was like it was, in a circle. It was a moment where it was just like that's it. I don't know why that is, but we're gonna. F it doesn't really have any meaning right now, but we're gonna fill it with meaning. I and love so it. That's that's kind of why I like it. it came up. You just released a video for your song Lane Boy, which yeah. I. Love. Oh, thank you. I love it. Kind of reggae, a little bit of the old drum and bass there at some time. Makes you move your shoulders yeah, so like this. You guys say, I know a thing or two about pain and darkness. If it wasn't for this music, I don't know how I would have fought this. You know, a lot of your fans say, you know, your music helped me through a hard time. Your music helped me through a dark time. Are you writing to try to help other people, or it just so happens you're trying to help yourself, and that's kind of an added bonus? Um, great question. I think it's a balance. You know, there's, it's not really... It's not really something where you can go, okay, today I'm going to do music for, just for me, and then today I'm going to maybe try to help other people. I think that because I've been helped by music that other people have made, it's such a, it's such an honoring like thing for someone to, to feel that way about your music. And so, uh, in a sense, the, the songs that I would write definitely help me get to the next place, which is better than the place that I was in. Um, with the self-awareness, the song has a self-awareness, especially the song Lane Boy, where it's Amazing. talking about like 
certain things that I've always wanted to say, but kind of like had to break character in order to say it. Just talking about song structure or whatever. Um, so there is. I a like that you talk about if a song is too perfect. It's kind of yeah, and that's that's stuff that we learned just kind of doing this now for a few years. Where some of these songs are completely created by other people. Like someone someone wrote the melody. Someone wrote the track, someone did the lyrics, and then they hired some band to sing the song. And I'm not just yeah. talking about pop either. No, of course. Like, it, it all happens genres in, of music. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. And, Ghostwriters, man, all over the place. It was, uh, it was a little like disheartening at first because like, there's some bands I was like, man, I hope that didn't happen to yeah. them. You know what I mean? I try to not read the writer's liner's notes because yeah, it's you depressing. Just wanna, you yes, still want to know. We asked the last artist in to ask you a question, and here yeah. it is. Hi, we're Milk and Bone. And our question for you is... is would you rather eat Kraft Dinner macaroni and cheese for the rest of your life, or... Eat poo twice. Twice ever. Just, you have to eat poo twice, or eat Kraft Dinner only for the rest of your yeah, life? Yeah, I would eat, I would eat poo five times. So you'd, you'd go above the I, two I, and go straight I, to five. I see your two and I raise you five. Wow. All right. That's, that's just such that's a, too much poo eating I, for I just, me. I but it's such you. a moment in time. Like, if I would have done this yesterday, I would have yeah. been like, dude, hilarious story. Yesterday I ate poo. <laughs> Twice. Now, Maybe five but times. But now it's like it doesn't really even affect me, you know? I'll take it. Okay. I'll, so take, that's that. My yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> what Jeez. are some bands that you guys are really into right now? Um... Man, I'm really into my own band. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I heard that about you guys. That I, a lot of bands will make music and they'll think it's really good, but they won't like <laughs> listen to their own songs and be like, "I love that song." I hear you guys love your own music. <laughs> I, I hear you like love your own music. I work out to my own do you? record. I do. I know. Is that, that lame? I don't even know. It Look, is. I, I mean, listen to my own music ninety percent of the time. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Like. I do have like certain there's certain things where like that would just be a nightmare. You know, if I'm if I'm bumping myself in my car, yeah. you know, as I'm driving, I will pull up. I to don't stop know what that signs, means, but I'll take it. Bumping, bumping yourself in the car. Yeah. Oh, you meant bumping your own music yeah, in your car. Yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa. You know, when you're bumping yourself. Wow. Rockstar lifestyle. You guys. know, when yeah. you're bumping yourself. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, if I pull up to a stoplight, like I'll turn it down in case the person next to me like, knows who you just are. Just in case, because that would be <laughs> that would be the worst day of my life. I'm like rocking. That would be the over, best YouTube like, clip. That's you, like, and you're just, just like you Ooh. and your car. Just so just in case they know who I am, they know what I look like, and they know what my songs yeah. sound like, I turn it down and kind of just. Do chill. you have a favorite song of your own? Oh I mean, yeah, I don't know, that's always a hard question. It is. Well, yeah, it's tough. Um, you want me to answer it? I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, I don't <laughs> you know. You can just it, say yes, and then... It changes all the time for me. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, I that's guess. fair. Yeah, I like the song Heavy Dirty Soul. It's the first song off of our new record. Love that. Thank you. Love that. You guys are kind of... I mean, you know, I, I'm not even sure whether to ask the question or not, but you guys are fairly open in your religion and your Christianity. Do you guys find that affects the way you guys are on the road, affects that rock star lifestyle, affects how you write your music? Yeah, I mean, I think that the thing that attracted me to writing songs was that I was able to, to say things in a song that it doesn't make sense to bring up in any sort of social setting, whether it's with a good friend yeah, or even okay. family. Like, there's certain topics that you can talk about, whether, it, you know, you, you bring up, like, religion. Um, honestly, the thing that got me into writing songs the most was, was, was kind of having frustrations and doubts about what it is I believed. And, sure. and so, and I realized, like, the first day I ever showed my family a song that I wrote, I thought for sure that they would come back, because I kind of grew up very conservative um, environment. I thought for sure they would come back with maybe some judgment or um, concern, but they were just like, man, that is good. What you made is good. And I realized I can, I can work through things in a, in a song um, and, like I said, kind of get to the next level. Um, you know, Josh and I, we never, it's never our goal to get up on stage and tell people, like, this is what you should believe. Absolutely. But one of the things that makes it kind of great music is that you can you can present questions that you don't have answers to and just the fact that you kind of like said it out loud helps so that's kind of what we what we like to do with music awesome man yeah. thank you so so much for Absolutely. coming by i really appreciate it you can hear 21 pilots music on stinger music's hitless canada hitless us rock alternative the oh my god channel total hits americas israel and total hits brazil Thank you so, so much, Well, hold man. on, hold on. Wasn't I supposed to ask someone a question? Yeah, that's that's after the interview. Oh, okay. You're being sneaky here, I'm bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> you you're, you're just broke the fourth wall there. I did. All right, fine. See you well, on another time. See you next time, Peace. guys. Bye.